Hello. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add DKIM record in GoDaddy. So the first thing I'd like you to do is to launch your GoDaddy web account, which of course we have done right here. Then the next thing is I'm going to show you exactly how to create your GoDaddy account. It's pretty much simple. From any browser of your choice, right here, I'm using Chrome. Head over to the top corner where you're going to find the search bar. In the search bar, this is the search bar. All right, so go ahead and type GoDaddy.com. Click enter and it's going to take you right into the GoDaddy website. From the website, check the top right corner, you're going to find the sign up option. Click on sign up and once you do that, go through the processes to create an account. So once you're done creating an account, of course, in the process, you're going to be asked to either create an account manually or automatically using Google, Facebook or Apple. Now, whichever one you choose is most convenient for you. Go ahead and create an account. And once you do that, it's going to take you to the GoDaddy homepage. This is not the home page. Now, from the home page, head over to the top right corner of the screen where you're going to see your profile name. Click on your profile name. And once you click on your profile name, you're going to see an extended menu. In the extended menu, go ahead and click My Product. And once you click My Product, it's going to take you to this fantastic page, staring at you in the face. This is the My Product page. Now, from here, let's hop into today's text, which is how to add DKIM record in GoDaddy. So from this map product page, scroll the way down to you find domains. Now from this domains, go ahead and click on manage all. Once you click on manage all, it's going to take you to the domains manager. From, um, domains manager page or window. to load this up again i'm gonna have to go the way back and bring it right there does the same slide from etsy it's pretty much so all right so oh perfect so we're here so i do not have any domain all right, but well, that's no problem. So from this left corner, you're going to find DNS, transfer services and settings. Now go ahead and click on DNS. It's going to open you up to this DNS management page. All right, now for you to add your uh, DKIM record, all you need to do is to go ahead and click on add new record. Now also click on add new record right here where you see type. Choose an option and your option should be txt. So go ahead and click on txt and then we see name. All right, so you're just going to type um, art. All right, that's just it. And then when you see value, that's the txt value. Here you need to provide the SPF key. All right, so the SPF key that you're going to get. And then I say you can get this from the Aptivo using email deliverability on that intxt that's a different process i'm telling so ensure that you get your spf key which is going to be added here and then under ttl select how long the server should cache this information so select it and once you've selected it you can also select to default if you want to leave it to default and then once you do that, go ahead and click on save and once you click on save, that's going to be it. Now, no extra white spaces and double quotes must be enclosed in the key. It should be copied and pasted at the same time. So the SPF for your, of course, your DKI and all of them, this should definitely be correct when you're entering this value in this string of characters. So that's much it. Once you have done all the way, once you've done that, you're just going to be good to go. So go by the store from top to bottom to get acquainted with the steps. So once you're done, you'll be good to go. I hope this video helps you search.